there is a political chess that Ndindinyoro made during the impeachment of Rigathi Gashagwa and he actually took advantage of the current situation of Kenya Kwanza government led by Dr. William Samoe Ruto. Although there are people who believe or who view it as a tactical mistake, but stay tuned with me as I evaluate uh, the political chess that Ndidinyoro played. My brother or my sister, wherever you are, I believe you are doing well. Here I am doing well as you can see me. And uh, in this video we want to see how Ndindinyoro played a political chess uh, during the impeachment of Rigathi Gashagwa, uh, which could eventually make him the king in Mount Kenya region. But before we evaluate that or start looking at it in a very very interesting way let me take this opportunity to welcome all those who are new to our channel please do not forget to subscribe and if you are coming here uh, for the okay if you have been coming here for very long i appreciate your presence and i do not take it for granted uh, because it's because of you that i do what i do here now uh, i would like to start by saying uh, in politics silence sometimes can be instrumental or it can be used as a weapon against your opponents okay in this uh, regard i'm talking about the Nyoro, who is first in, in he was in a dilemma situation whereby he had two options he had either to join uh, Rigathi Gashagwa camp and oppose Dr. William Samuel Ruto or he had the option of joining Dr. William Samuel Ruto and attack or impeach Rigathi Gashagwa. But what surprised many is that he never made any comment. Uh, he never made a comment either supporting Gashagwa or supporting Ruto. He remained neutral or just ambiguous in fact we have some who made comments uh, people like Baboino they did not vote of course but Baboino said a comment he said that he had other things to do he was busy so he had no time to impeach Rikati Gashagwa and he also alluded to the fact that uh, there are other important bills that have to be passed in parliament and uh, impeaching Rikati Gashagwa is none of them so for some still apart from impeaching Rigathi Gashagwa they made comment but from the Dinyoro up to now as I'm speaking here we have not had any comment from him in fact this comment that you are seeing on social media that he made there are actually some comment they, they, they take a video an old clip uh, and then they try to reverse engineer it so that it can uh, it show that it, he is making a comment so they are they, they want to force uh, issues they want to force it to appear that he made some comment of the impeachment of Rigathi Gashago, but he did not make any comment now here is the catch by not making any comment uh, first of all it, 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 it becomes a weakness because it, it, it is difficult for either of the side to trust him because they believe or they think uh, he is a person who has no stand and that is what most of the people who are saying he did a tactical mistake are basing on but that can only happen within a very short period of time they will not be uh, skeptical of him forever it will come a time when that skepticism will not be more important than the interest that the political players in the country may be having at that particular time. For instance, Regadi Gashago, we understand he politically, he is not very strong as you are speaking now. I mean, political I mean, he was impeached, therefore he cannot run for president. Maybe he can support someone else, okay? And we have seen he is saying he will support Kalonzo Msioka. Now, uh, maybe the Mount Kenya region 
may not be interested in supporting someone else. They could be interested in doing what? Uh, fronting one of their own. So in Mount Kenya region, whom do you think will be fronted easily? Who is acceptable? Uh, for me, I view the Dinoro as the individual who becomes acceptable just by the virtue of him not being part and parcel of the people who impeached Rigadi Gashagwa. We have seen people who impeached Rigadi Gashagwa, people like uh, we have the Kikuyu member of parliament, Kimani Chungwa being chased like Brukenge, when they got for functions, but never had we had any function when the Dinyoro was uh, chased like a Brukenge. The Dinyoro is neutral. You know when you are neutral, you are uh, okay. Uh, you, nobody hates you, nobody likes you, you are just there. So it's like no one is bothered with him, especially uh, relating the issue of impeaching Rigadi Gashagwa. Now, before I proceed with his relationship with becoming the king, make, uh, the king in Mount Kenya region, let me move a bit to the side of Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Now, if Dr. William Samuel Ruto, as, as, is, as the situation currently is, he has failed terribly in administra administration of the country. He is also not much loved in Mount Kenya region. The church is against him. He is just a, a, a person under siege. Eh? Now, assuming he wants to uh, try and coax the Mount Kenya region to support him, maybe, or he, he wants to send s some message, or maybe sell an agenda in Mount Kenya region, who do you think he will use? Hmm? Will he use Kimani Chungwa who is being chased? I don't think so. Will he use Rigadi Gashagwa? No. They are not in good terms. Will he use Kithure Kindiki? No. Kithure Kindiki at this particular time, he is being viewed as a puppet of Dr. William Samuel Ruto. The Mount Kenya people are viewing Kithure Kindiki as a person who has just been installed there to represent or to be an appendage of Ruto. And it is the reason why you had uh, Rigadi Gashagwa saying when, when he had a, a, I think it was a, an interview with TV, he said that Kithure Kindiki is just uh, loyal to the president. But when Rigadi Gashagwa was in power, he was loyal to the people. The people. So Kithure Kindiki is be viewed as an appendage of Dr. William Samuel Ruto. So having understood that, now we remain with Nidinyoro. Nidinyoro, first of all, uh, he's, in fact, even yesterday, or was it? Uh, two, yeah, yesterday, he was being ranked, or he was ranked as the best performing member of parliament in Kenya. So in terms of development, uh, he's okay. In terms of politics, he has played neutral. So Dr. William Samuel Ruto can easily use him to uh, try and sell his agenda in the Kenya region. And if Dr. William Samuel Ruto does that, it will mean he will also benefit in one way or another. And it's the likely reason why you have seen Dr. William Samuel Ruto has not moved with speed to, impeach, to, to remove him from the committee of finance that he heads. He, sorry, the, the committee of budget where he's, he's the chair. So uh, the, Dr. William Samuel Ruto views him as a potential uh, ally he can use for f in, in future, assuming he still wants to have some connection with Mount Kenya region. He could even be the potential deputy president in the uh, year 2020-27. Kithure Kindiki cannot be a deputy president because uh, he doesn't have the clout in Mount Kenya region. He is a cool guy, he's an academician, a person who doesn't like dirty politics, he speaks cool, uh, he's not a very, how do I put it, like Rigadi Gashagwa, he's not a mobilizer, you know Rigadi Gashagwa, uh, if, if you if you talk that, he talks that, yani, how do I put it in Kiswahili, the, the way Joho said, let a trouble and let a trouble, so that kind of person is not a person you can depend on for good politics, especially the kind of politics that Dr. William Samueto plays. So, Kithure Kindik will only be the deputy president for the period until 2022. Eh? 2020? 
2020 okay we are, we are in currently in 20 okay 2026 because the election is in, in the year 2027 so kithure kindiki will will have a few years eh, in in, in if I let him enjoy but the people who can uh, really assuming dr william sameto wants to give real power of deputy president he will give and in your that is an assumption although that will not happen because he is now moving to western and nyanza now having looked at that let me go back to what i was pushing about and dinyoro and his relationship to being the king in mount kenya region now i said that dinyoro is a neutral guy he's not hated he's not liked but he is not ignored that's the the uh, the good thing about him so now that uh, regarding gashagwa is a person who uh, has no political future you know the constitution of kenya says that once you are impeached you cannot hold office it doesn't say 10 years it just say you don't hold office so it is likely to mean forever so uh, as assuming he doesn't uh, overturn the impeachment tag then only one person remains and that is who that is didinyoro so didinyoro uh, can easily come there and say oh E, mimi siku siku impeach rigadi gashagwa mimi ni dinyamazo kwa sababu sikutaka kukosana na rais na pia sikutaka kukosana na e, msimnajua hii mambo vile inakuwa he, he has that leverage on how he can defend himself about that and i don't think uh, uh, rigadi gashagwa has a problem with him uh, in fact at some point we used to see him saying that he used to go to didinyoro's place when he was being persecuted by Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta and uh, they were friends so he really outsmarted Ruto uh, during the impeachment and uh, for me i believe he is likely to be the king or the king maker in the Mount Kenya region i don't know what you think about this you can let me know what you think you know people have varied opinion about this uh, until we meet again bye bye